welcome to a new month, which means it's a new spinny video. I'm your host, Laura. I'm Joel. And this is Bailey. Say hi, Bailey. He was very excited to be on camera. Or maybe it's because I put a harness on him because we're going to go for a walk soon. And he's going for a walk with us because mm -hmm. he likes that. He does. He needs so. the exercise. Look at him. He's not big. Anyway. Yes. So, it's July. We got lots to go over. Yeah. We're going to be doing a couple different things, right? We got, uh, well, yep. First thing, we have to announce the winner of last month's food fight challenge was... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't remember. You don't remember? <laughs> I had a rough oh, day. No. <laughs> but it's, it's, been a, it's been a long day. Um, it was the very first place we went to. Now I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> uh, Tavern on Clark? Is that right? Was it? <laughs> well, here, you vample and look it up real quick just to make sure. Tavern on Clark! I think that's what it was. Um, is that why you were like... Yeah, because I was like <laughs> trying to remember. Too. And that's then funny. I, then I thought I remembered, but I didn't remember because... Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, Tavern on Clark that was, right. was the first week. So, so, we will be sending them a uh, suitable for framing food fight winner for this month. Uh, um, and and a, then something else. I feel like we sent them something else too. Yeah, a letter. A, a, nice, letter. a nice written letter from us. Saying uh, congratulations. Saying, good you, job congrats. on having good food. Um, and yeah, one of the, one of the winners, uh, actually wrote back to us and said, thank you for yeah. being a part of that. So, yep. but I think we still owe at least, do we owe anybody else or is this, this no. is the first one since we've done that? Yep. Cause everybody else got there for the back orders. So yep. yeah. Yep, anyway. Yep, yep. So, um, that's number one. Number two is since it's July, we've, we've decided. decided to do something different. And this is going to be a... For now, is probably going to be an ongoing, rotating schedule. Yes. So we'll do a food fight month, and then we'll switch it up a little bit, and then we'll do what we're going to do this month, which is kind of a combo of things. Yep. So we're going to do... Um, Bailey's very interested. <laughs> like, what are we doing? Um, we're going to do a dollar store driving and dining, and then mm -hmm. we're going to do uh, newly dead ventures. Yep. And we're going to do three dollar store... Dining and drive-ins and two dead ventures potentially. Mm -hmm. um, they may not be specifically from this month because one of them potentially could be from last month. Maybe if there was enough footage and things to piece oh, together. Oh, sorry. Yes. Potentially, but that that's a maybe. We may or may not. We, that may just be a, an extra little side like TikTok piece or something thing or something. Yeah, yeah we'll see. But um, yeah, and then we're thinking that we'll do food fight alternating months and then. We'll potentially do at least a dollar store drive-in and dine-in, but may yeah. plop in some other things. And, of course, Sinister Snacks will still be an ongoing thing. We are getting uh, close to finishing um, all the old ones, and so now we're down to, like, the newer ones. Oof. So yeah. I think yeah. there's only one more really old one maybe, that's left. Maybe, maybe we should do like a sinister snacks on the go where we like look for sinister snacks in the store and then find them and then try them in the car look at her pitching ideas as we're just saying. you know just sitting here with the dog talking about stuff he just wants to go for a walk um no we're not going for a walk yet dude Soon. um so he looks sad what we did uh we've got the the spinny wheel there are seven options on the wheel i've got my phone here because because we're doing dollar store driving and dining this week first right because mm -hmm. we're doing it's a it's a five friday month yeah so three three of them are this um so we have four remaining actual dollar store films that you purchased me yes because we four already me. watched one we I watched it was it was a. Uh... Reaper or something. Soul Reaper. Soul Reaper. Which was not good. Um, but we also have three contributions from a request that we made a while back, uh, which we may eventually, if this continues in this manner as we're planning. If you have suggestions, um, please yes. comment below. Let us know. Either Let put it know. in the comments here Direct or on Facebook. Direct message is fine also. Yep. Slide or into his DMs. You can contact us at... <laughs> 
Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, you can get us at contact at the newly dead dot com. Not not uh, plural. Just contact is in like one contact, contact or contacting at us. the newly dot com. Yes. Um, so the seven choices for the spinning wheel that you're going to see here in just a moment is a little bit zombie. Uh, that was suggested to us by Mel Walker. Um, the corresponding restaurant that we have with that is omakase which it's a uh, um, sushi and ramen restaurant which we were thinking zombies eat flesh fresh flesh so, so we're like sushi it's fresh flesh yeah uh the second one is creep which was uh brought to us by candy dixon and we opted for that one we were going with scoreboard because because uh i was thinking creep sheep chicken like cheap 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 and one of the places we didn't get wings from during the wings we a month challenge for a food was fight scoreboard was scoreboard in my humble opinion they have the best wings in rockford or at least they used to it's been a while since wings I've been there, but i used to go to wings wednesday all the time um the next one is telstar uh, there's a longer part to that title but i just put telstar here uh that was brought to us by tim lerner her 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 i always I always mess up his last name. Lenner. 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 Sorry. Sorry, I always mess up your last name because it's... Tim. Yeah. Tim L. Tim. Um, And for that, we were going with Lima Mar, which is a uh, Peruvian Mm -hmm. restaurant. It's like a tapas kind of restaurant. Telstar is all about... uh, band right it was uh yeah, yeah. It, it was it was about uh the composer of like the music of this and we listened to that song and it sounded kind of like space like otherworldly and so we were thinking like different worlds you know we so, haven't had peruvian yeah, food we've before never had peruvian foods so we're like so i was like that's a different culture different yeah. something so that was kind of the logic there we were trying to find something for that one and that was the, the best we could do uh, then we've got Bride of Scarecrow, and we're going to go with El Burrito Loco. Because they have elotes. And we figured Scarecrow, corn, corn elotes. It's like a cornfield, Scarecrow. And we're corny. Plus, we love elotes. So if we go there, we will have to get elotes. Uh, the next one is The Music Box. And for that, uh, is a place we've been wanting to go to called Mr. Burger. Yep. That came to us after the food fight month. Yes, a burger. We drove by and I was like, what is that? So we, so we want to try Mr. Burger. And I've heard it's like super good by a few few different people. And the reason for that is that the uh, music box, burgers used to come in a box um, before, you know, people were worried about the environment. So the like box? the McDLT and uh, the Big Mac and all those used to come in a box. So yeah, figured burger box. Uh, then we've got house at the end of the street. Uh, for that one, we were looking to go to Dairy Fair, which was a recommendation from, again, Candy Dixon. Uh, I my glasses on, so I'm like... She's... <laughs> <laughs> staring um, at it like... Because <laughs> we were thinking for that, it's a it, it's a restaurant that's kind of at the end of the street, like a residential area. It's like over the restaurant at the end of the street. It's only open during the summer. Yeah, I've always wanted to go there. I've heard it's amazing. I've not been there. Candy says, if you like cheese fries, it's better than Beef Roo, which is our local cheese fry capital. Yeah. Although what I makes like Portillo's those? Fries. Portillo's does have good fries. They have good but for fries. Rockford area, uh, yeah, it's always be for real. They are cooking it just for you. And their 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 season salt is on those is awesome. And then the final one is, don't let them in. And for that, we were talking about going to Rockabago Pizza. Well, it's it's Mama C's at Rockabago. Oh, what she said. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, but because we were thinking like, don't let them in, delivery drivers. See, there's there's a logic to all of this. So when you are looking at the spinny thing, these are the order of them, one through seven, as I read them off. And uh, so yeah, so we're gonna pause the video. We're gonna do the spinnings, and we'll be right back. Thank you, Joel. Yay! Number four. Number four, which is... What is it, Bailey? 
Here. What's it say? What's it say, mm-hmm. Bailey? He said, Elotes! We're going to watch Bride of Scarecrow. And we're going to have some uh, Mexican food from El Burrito Loco. Do you think she'll have the big hair like uh, the Bride of Frankenstein? Mm. The Bride of Scarecrow? I don't know. Why would you want to be married to a scarecrow? They just kind of hang around all the time. Uh, but they've got a job. They're employed. They do. Uh, I mean, you know, they're they're kind of full of themselves, though. You know, stuffed shirts and all. <laughs> Plus, you know, the other stuff. I don't. I don't, I don't know, scarecrow. But yeah, maybe maybe she'll have like the big like thing with like. Uh, but it'll be made up crow of, hair. It'll be it'll be like on um, on uh, that show that I don't want to say the name because we try to keep this PG, the one with uh, the crows have eyes three. Oh, Maybe it'll be like that. Mm. I don't know. I, according to IMDb, it's got two point three out of ten stars, and the first review that I pulled up said, "You can't say Shit's Creek." Oh, that's a name of a show, so I guess so. Just, you know. It's not even spelled the same. We're not monetized anyway, so. It's a name. It's the name of a show. It's the name of a people. It's a proper name. Rolling shit. Kind of like Dick. Yeah. Other proper names. Asswear. That's not a proper name. That's a play on a proper name. Anyway, (laughs) uh, so yes, we are, I'm I'm kind of, uh. Looking forward to this. We haven't watched a, a bad movie in a while. We've watched a lot of movies, but yeah, not intentionally watched like a really bad movie. Yeah. So we're gonna set up tomorrow. Yep. Yes. Tomorrow's Friday. Friday. And uh, eat some delicious food while we watch mm-hmm. the movie, and then we will do a review at the end of it. So we'll talk about the food, watch the movie, talk about the movie, and then and then everything is groovy. And then you guys will get some new content. And that's not just a regular, normal, everyday kind of food fight. It is a uh, non-food fight. Food discussion. Food discussion. That sounds like a bad name for a segment. Mm. Joel and Loria. It's food discussion. Loria? Loria. <laughs> Loria. Joel and Loria. Food discussion. Bailey, you want to talk about food? Who's Loria? Hey, Loria. before we go, Bailey, can you give me a high five? High five. High five. He's mad at you. Really? Give me a high five. High five. High five, dude. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Well, that is it. Yeah. High five. High five. High five, mama. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're so no. sweet. He, he just wants like, to go Ooh. outside. Yeah. Take and he got kisses. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we will see you later. Bye-bye. Whoa.